you guys what is up welcome back to the channel today i want to introduce you to the new leg of my automotive journey and that's going to be rose does it all essentially what this is going to be is segments or whole episodes where i take it upon myself to source the parts install them myself and if necessary i'm going to clean them up i'll show you guys how i do that the idea with this series is that i also want to take a moment to recognize that there are so many people out there who are totally capable but they don't feel totally confident in going out and fixing their own cars. So I'm going to show you guys just how you can do that, how easily it can be done, and hopefully along the way, some of you gain the confidence to do this as well. So I want to take a moment to show you guys what exactly I intend to replace on the interior of the car. I want to replace the center console, the boot. If I find one in better condition, I'm going to replace that. I'll boost the ego of the interior of the car. And as you can see, this has claw marks. So I think that's really all I have planned for the interior for now. I also want to replace the windshield wiper fluid. Um, I don't think I can show you guys that without taking the bumper off. So I'm not ready to do that. But it is cracked, it doesn't hold fluid, and as far as I know, okay, so I can hear that the motor on the windshield wiper fluid does work, so I won't need that, hopefully. For those of you not in the know, I'm going to be using a site called Row 52 and this is an online database you can use to search through junkyards in your local area. So I searched the make and model of the Subaru I was looking for and found something I thought would have the right colored interior. And then we were off to the junkyard. Alright, where are we going? Okay, so we're going down to row 43. It was all up to guesstimation. Will the Subaru have the right color interior we need? We're off to row 43 to find out. Somebody really opened this hood. There, there's a console in there, I don't know. It's not exactly the same though. Oh, because it doesn't have the the hovering thing and all the other stuff that ours does. Yeah, which, I mean, like, does that make a difference? It kind of does, yeah. I, okay. I, think I think it might. Okay. Uh, unless we can just replace the lid. That's all I want to do. I mean, yeah, like, what are they going to charge me for this part? Like, that won't be that bad. Bucks? You know, that looks pretty good. The e-brake handle. It's okay. Like, I like that this is an all foreign. What are you looking for in there? Screwdriver. This one might be Maybe we can take the upholstery off of it. Yeah, I think this is a little wire. It's the same color, though, so, like, it's worth... Worth trying, right? We're trying, because, like, I mean, we might hit the fucking nail on the head with that, and it was that easy, guys. So another thing I also need for my car is one of these windshield wiper fluid tanks. Mine has a crack in it, and so it doesn't hold any of the wiper fluid, unfortunately, but it looks like there's one here, and so I'm also going to be picking this part up. I guess, yeah. I mean, like, I for, the, for here, for for this, we can go see about checking the Fieros out. <laughs> this is sick. I'm not going to lie. I don't even hate it. The paint job is solid. What? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, 
I'm like, I really don't hate Whoa, oh, it gets weirder. <laughs> oh my god. It's a gambler car. Take money? What is that? Um, <laughs> whoops. Yeah. Well, it's a very rare Fiero. Only one of 1,500 ever built, 1,550 specifically. Really shouldn't be here, but you know. The sad thing is that uh, everyone on the East Coast, I don't even have to like know that I'm gonna go to the back of this car and this is the only rust that's here. There's no major rust. You've checked them there, both on 15. So, oh, it's right there. You've walked by it. It was unassuming and black. Is this like a part? It's a stock Fiero part. You didn't even know you could get more base model than the glove pocket. You can get the elastic map holder. It is an early year that actually, that says Fiero on the door sills. The car has a flat blade screwdriver. It's not really that difficult to get out. If it's a part people want, it's worth getting to another Fiero, right? I feel like, I feel like that's part of our duty. What if there's another car out there that needs it? Sure. Might be able to get out. Did a bunch of shit come out and hit you in the face? Yeah. Oh. There's a little dirt all over your face. Little specks of dirt. I look like I got natural mechanic freckles. <laughs> Nice. After our adventure to the junkyard, we are off to our home again so I could start cleaning these parts and installing them in the car myself. Okay, so now that I got all of my parts here, um, I'm going to take a moment to clean them up. I'm going to keep it really simple, basically, because I don't need to do a whole lot of cleaning. But I am going to give the tank a quick like wipe down and rinse just with some soap and rag. Nothing special. I'm going to give you guys a little se a secret. When I clean interior pieces like this, I need to use a magic eraser for the initial like, deepest clean. And it works really well. Just water and the eraser and it doesn't affect the material. And then I try to go back to like all my interior leather cleaners after that. six screws this one has four and there may be a reason for that this armrest moves upward and the other one did not and I knew that when taking it but man did I think it was worth the risk ah! okay this instead this will be much easier Wipe it down, get any dust and stuff. Okay, that went so smooth it was like a Ford truck driving by in the middle of me talking. I don't know what I'm going to do about this. I don't know how to explain this to you guys, so I'm just gonna show you. Okay, so not only was this uh, only four bolts, 
But as you can see, it is attached by fabric. Fabric that runs all the way down here. So I'm gonna crack into this, see if this comes unbolted, and see if maybe I can figure out a way around this. Okay, so what I have achieved here is that this does come off, but these parts don't intermingle. That's fine. I can create another solution around this because at least I know that this part is easily removable. It's, and I just need to get one in better condition than this. So my options are, I can go to another junkyard or I can look online for what the other option is. For now, I'm just gonna screw the door handle or the latch. Did I break this? I don't think I'm just gonna throw this old boot in the trash. I'm gonna boot it. Let me do this. Oh, there you are. So, the clutch went out on my Subaru. So I never got to re replace the windshield wiper fluid tank, which is super unfortunate because that was my daily driver and now I'm, ha I'm having to like makeshift and drive some other things and I don't really prefer that, but it's okay. We'll work with what we got because it's going to be a very expensive fix from what I'm told. And I will get back to replacing the parts that I need to on the car when I'm driving it again. If you guys like this series, let me know because I'm gonna keep doing them regardless of whether or not you like them because it gives me a chance and an outlet to learn how to fix the cars that I know and love. I think the next thing I'm gonna do is the axle boot on the red line and it's gonna be messy, but I think that's the whole point of working on the car. And it'll give me a chance to uh, fix one of the mistakes I made. So I'll talk to you later guys, bye.